Okay, here we go. I was on the phone with my sister the other day, and out of nowhere, she brought up a person in our past that we both used to know. This lady that we both used to know is a so called psychic. I won't go into that. But during this phone call, the Holy Spirit was teaching me, hey, Garrett, you haven't forgiven her. So I'm talking with my sister upwards of almost one hour, and God is whispering to me, yes, this is your homework. You got to work on forgiving her. I won't mention her name. I'll just call her Lisa. That's not her real name. You got to forgive Lisa. And I was thinking, Wow, I forgot about her. I don't think about her too much. You see, what happened is, this is a so-called psychic who took upwards of over $1 million from myself and my family. I don't want any of you to think that I gave her a million. I've been poor my entire life, dirt poor, my entire life except recently, but other family members and myself together, she milked us out of over a million dollars. She's single-handedly one of the biggest scam artists in my entire life. And this is when I was much younger, and I, I kind of forgot about her. I don't think about her too much, but I've been realizing, yeah, I, I don't forgive her. I still have problems with her. Now, you might be thinking, well, Garrett, why is this a big deal? Why are we making a video here? This is a big deal. You can't draw closer to the Lord until you start forgiving some of the people in your past. Now, I'm not saying this is a formula. I'm not saying this is the way God always does it because that's not true. But I know for Garrett, God has pointed out to me three separate people, all three of them are women so far, that I have to work on forgiving so his son Jesus would draw closer to me. I am suspecting that most of you have a very similar issue. You see, somehow, some way, unforgiveness inside of us stops the Lord from drawing closer to us. And I believe at some point in our lives, maybe when we're younger, maybe with some of us like me, while we're older, God will point this out to us and have us work on this unforgiveness. Number one, God wants us to forgive everyone. He wants us to give grace and mercy to everyone and forgiveness. Number two, for many of you out there, this unforgiveness is stopping you from drawing closer to the Lord. I can't explain how it works yet. If he wants to teach me, I will make a video if he wants to show me, awesome. If I can get a dream, a revelation, a vision, teachings, whispering from God, etc. Yes, I would love to go deeper into this. But for now, unforgiveness is preventing the Lord from drawing closer to many of you. I will be working on forgiving this lady that I'm naming Lisa. I have been working on this. It is going successfully because of God's grace. I'm feeling better and better. Would you join me? Ask God to point out to you who you have unforgiveness with because many times we don't even know about it. Many times it's in secret. Okay, join me. Let's draw closer to the Lord as our time is winding down here on earth.